here we go. Welcome to Toast Thoughts of a Stoner Tube. Bruh, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have been paying close attention to WAC 100 the last few days. And I can tell you that the mood he's been in, he's been looking for someone to buck on. And he obviously he's taking the most vague chance to go at someone he already don't like. Yes, Joe Budden and WAC 100 have a history together of beef. All right. Now, we'll get to that in a second. Now, first off, WAC 100, he told us how to take a knife from a nigga who pulls one out on you with using only a belt, all right, and a belt buckle. Listen, for all y'all out there that ain't got no training, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might be in public, y'all might be out somewhere, I might pull a knife on you, you pull that belt off, take three steps back, wrap it around your hand as such. Give about that much leeway. And when you square off with him, as soon as he come with it, get out that way and you respond. Bow! Bow! Tear that head up. Two, three of them, they gonna drop that knife. When they drop that knife, you get that ass. Whack 100 just gave you some game on Sunday. 100. Then, he bucked on other old niggas from his own hood because He's hearing that they're talking about him, and he's hearing that they're running his their their mouth, okay, about him. And he like, listen, all y'all got to do is just tell me y'all want to jump stupid, and it's 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 a done deal, all right? Yo, fuck going on? Got on rocking my biggie shit today, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know, shit. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls, my nigga. Hey, listen. I just realized I got a bunch of my fake ass homies doing YouTube videos. You niggas just some old buster ass niggas, man. Cowards. My, any nigga that got my name in their mouth from my neighborhood and they came to see me, you's a coward. You no, know, every time you speak my name and y'all know where I'm at and y'all ain't pulled up, you's a coward. Mark ass nigga. You don't want that shit, you know what it is. Y'all niggas be woofing that shit, but you don't niggas, that All shit. you niggas gotta do is act like you wanna jump, and I'ma tear your motherfucking ass up. That's all you gotta do. I'm from over there, I know what's what. Nigga, you niggas know, you niggas ain't never been like that. All you, any of you niggas, Lancaster niggas, whoever, act like it, and we're gonna get to it. And now he's going at Joe Budden because Joe said that niggas in LA are fake inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the geniuses over at Apple have finally got this flip camera right, now on my off days like today, I can make the stupid little inspirational, motivational videos like all the little fuckity LA niggas love to make. And boy, do you LA niggas love making these fucking trash ass inspirational videos. So if y'all are doing it, it must be something to it. So I'm going to try it. This morning I woke up and made vegan eggs with celery and asparagus. And if I can wake up and have vegan eggs, you too can wake up and chase your dreams. You too can do it. You too can run miles on the canyon after eating vegan eggs. Never stop believing in yourself. Get the fuck out of here. So when I think of a name for my series, I'm starting my series. Be on the lookout and chase your dreams. Now, Joe, you're, you're a very opinionated dude, right? And, and I honestly, I think you should clarify, okay? If you're talking about niggas from L.A., which I don't know, WAC 100, I don't know why WAC 100 is getting that offended because, nigga, you're not even from L.A. You're from the L.A. suburb area, all right? You're from the valley. I mean, hey, listen, you call the hood. I've never been there before. I just know that I'm... I've been in like the real cities of real places, all right? You ain't from LA. But anyway, I don't know why, okay. So I don't know if Joe is talking about niggas from LA or or just niggas that are living in LA because we also know that, you know, a lot of people move to LA once they get on and once they become financially uh, secure. You know, they secure the bag, they take their talents to LA, all right? They take their talents, talents to Venice Beach. But anyway, um, I mean, maybe, 
Maybe Wack 100 is going at Joe because he's talking about LA and we know anything that has anything to do with Cali, Wack 100 turns that into a rule business. All right. Now, Wack 100 and Joe Budden have a, a long history of beef, which it, briefly is basically this. Wack 100 has admitted to baller blocking Joe Budden for the game. What these niggas want to worry about what the next motherfucker doing, and they ain't doing nothing. What you doing, nigga? Nigga got a drive with a hundred songs on it, playing question the other rapper. Nigga, here go a question I got from you, nigga. Where your deal at, nigga? Shit. Fuck out of here, nigga. And then the nigga tried to get all up in our business and mention my VP, Gabby Peluso, mention our business at E1. Nigga, don't mention our business, nigga. Matter right, of fact, I'm going to keep it real with you, Joe, but I'm the motherfucking reason why your situation didn't get no attention, nigga. Because I went that motherfucker and told him, look, I don't give a fuck what project. Who project you want, Joe Button? Hey, listen, y'all want this game project up in here? Cease that shit. I need that whole team over there on this game shit. I need the whole build on this game shit. Niggas want to talk about it. Nigga, tell my niggas drop the ball. Drop the ball away. All eyes still speak. Okay? Because if you don't know, Wack 100 in the game, uh, worse on the, well, okay, the game and Joe Budden were on the same record label back in the day right and whack 100 he he basically said to the label oh y'all putting that on joe budden's album oh y'all y'all gonna make that the budget for joe budden's album listen if you want this game you need to cut all that out and you need to focus on the game all right and that's what he did he baller blocked joe budden's pockets back in the day by fucking up his record deal situation to further the game's career which we all know the game can rap the game can rap his ass off man like i i thoroughly enjoy his music but his antics to um further those albums that he he drops is it's it's all fuckery all right it's all fuckery y'all let me know what y'all think about this though man whack 100 going at joe budden for the second or third time second time publicly in uh in my eyes but he whack 100 don't like joe button man and i believe that joe button don't like whack um everyday struggle episode y'all niggas get whack 100 on everyday struggle i would love to see how that turns out all right y'all let me know what y'all think about this i'm about to get up out of here by the way speaking of everyday struggle we all know how yachty came on everyday struggle him and joe butter had their little uh altercation or whatever well yachty had a concert Yesterday, I'm not, <laughs> listen, and someone threw a F Joe Budden sweatshirt on stage and Yachty started rocking it, right? Now, Wack 100 has taken a picture of that, uploaded it on Instagram, and has said, hey, I'm down with the movement. I can dig it. At Joe Budden, I want that problem, so make sure I'm down as one of the fuckity niggas because if you don't know that's what joe budden used to describe the la inspirational niggas he called them fuckity all right which is a a word that joe budden uses frequently he says fuckity fuck shit a lot all right what fuck fuckity fuck fuck, fuck. it don't hurt nobody in my cartman voice all right yo i'm gone